Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to another episode of Nostalgia Week, Anime Edition. Today we will be talking about one of my favorite action anime growing up, and honestly, just generally, one of my favorite shonen battle anime of all time that I think still stands up to this day. That's right, we're talking about Yu Yu Hakusho. show is a series that was originally created by Yoshihiro Tagashi, who, fun fact by the way, is married to the creator of Sailor Moon. Just an interesting little uh, tidbit. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho is the story of Yusuke Yurameshi, a delinquent teenager who ends up dying in the very first, I'm going to say episode because I watched it as an anime, as the anime series, who dies in the very first episode actually sacrificing his life to save a kid from being hit by a car, which ends up not being even what was going to happen in the first place, but, you know. Um, he ends up being uh, kind of recruited into becoming a spirit detective and solving these issues for the uh, spirit world. Um, basically, as in order to earn a chance at a second, well, to earn a second chance at life, basically. Um, so he takes on these cases, he takes on these different, uh, different challenges in order to fight all of these demons and otherworldly characters in all kinds of different ways. But he's not alone. He has a group of friends, uh, that he gathers throughout the series. Uh, one of which is kind of this rival-turned-best friend, Kuwabara, who is by far one of the best characters in this entire series. Kuwabara is amazing. He, he's just this amazingly ridiculous doofus. He's so fucking dumb, but in the best way. Like, you, you've seen those characters who are just really dumb, but they're also extremely lovable, extremely courageous, and just really strong. He's definitely one of those characters. Um, but you also have Hiei and Kurama. Hiei and Kurama are two demons who, at first, kind of act as antagonists to Yusuke, but end up joining his side in the end. Um, Hiei uh, is a demon who uses, uh, like, black dragon and black fire kind of uh, abilities. Um, he also has the ability of, I think it's called the Jikon Eye. Um, a lot, it, basically, he turns green and a bunch of eyes sprout over his body. It's really creepy and weird. Um, but it, it also makes him, he's also really fast. He's really strong. And his character is kind of like, you know, the typical uh, kind of badass, but also really asshole type of character. The badass asshole. <laughs> um, kind of like Vegeta or Sasuke or those kind of characters. He's like that. Um, Kurama, on the other hand, is extremely nice, polite, well-spoken, um, and he's a fox. Kurama is a fox spirit, um, and he's my favorite character of Yu Yu Hakusho. Partially, admittedly, because he's hot. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, he was actually one of my earliest, uh, crushes in animation. Um, before I even realized it. Like, looking back on it, it's obvious I crushed hard on him. I just didn't admit it back in the day because, you know, I grew up raised um, as a signed male at birth, and I had this, because of my parents and the way I was raised, I also had this kind of very bigoted view on life to where it's like, oh, I can't admit being in love or being crushing on a male character. It's like, it's so bad looking back on it, but yeah. Um, now, one of the best parts of Yu Hakusho by far would definitely be the character of Genkai. Genkai acts as Yusuke's mentor. She's kind of like the, uh, if you want to compare it to like other big shonen anime, like compared to Dragon Ball Z, she's in the role of Master Roshi. Uh, compare it to... Um, Bleach, 
she would be, I guess, in the role of Isuke or Ahara, maybe? Yeah, Bleach, it's not as, uh, not as blatant with that. Uh, Naruto would definitely be Kakashi. Um, One Piece, if you were to make the comparison, I guess with One Piece, it'd be Shanks, I, I, I guess. But the point is, yeah, Genkai acts as Yusuke's mentor. She's, she's a really strong, really skillful old lady. She's a little ornery, but not like too much, like not to the point where it gets almost comically uh, to that degree. Um, but she's very serious and, t and takes her training of him seriously. She sees a lot of potential in him. Um, you have other great characters who appear. Um, the Tagoro brothers are amazing. Uh, you have this character, I think his name is Rando. Uh, he's one of the uh, early villains. Um, I know it begins with an R. Um, he, he's, I, I can't think of it. Then there's this other guy who I think is named Chu who has this, like, knife-edge deathmatch with Yusuke, and it's, like, one of the best, seriously best moments of the anime. Um, but the single best part of Yu Yu Hakusho by far is the Dark Tournament arc. This is the arc that popularized the tournament arc in shonen anime. This is the arc that made that a meme. If you've ever seen Gigux videos where he makes the tournament arc uh, joke, um, that is, this is the this is the show that that originally got popularized. That that kind of arc in a shonen anime got popularized, even more so than Dragon Ball Z. Like yeah, Dragon Ball Z had multiple tournaments, and even the original Dragon Ball. Um, but Yu Yu Hakusho's dark tournament was on such another level. It was such a big deal. Even now, people look back on it as one of the greatest story arcs in all of anime, period. And not only just because of the writing and characters in it, but the action is top-notch. The actual fights that occur within it are so fucking good, and it leads to this massive, massive battle at the end. I I'm not going to get into too much detail, but let's just say it's it's a big fucking deal. Um, and, and this series goes on to do a lot of interesting things with its characters, and the biggest thing I think that really needs to be taken into account is that it develops its characters extremely well. The Yusuke Yurameshi at the beginning of the series is nowhere near the same character as at the end. He is such a different character, he has evolved in such important ways, and become, honestly, such a better person. Kuwabara is vastly different at the beginning than he is at the end. Hiei and Kurama have grown as well. Though Kurama, honestly, maybe a little less so, but then again, he didn't have as much room to need to grow because he was already kind of good. <laughs> um, Hiei and uh, Hiei, Kuwabara, Yusuke, they were kind of like the uh, delinquents. So they had much more room to need to grow. So, yeah. Um, the art and animation is fantastic and still holds up. It really does. Um, the soundtrack is great. The uh, voice acting is awesome. Like, in both the Japanese and the dub. It definitely is one of those cases of one of the best English dubs out there for anime, for sure. Um, but even the Japanese is very good voice acting. Um, I personally mostly watched it in the in the English dub. I've only seen the Japanese dub uh, once, and I just didn't like it as much. Um, and, it, and partially, admittedly, it's due to uh, Kuwabara and Kurama's voices specifically. I just think their voices are perfect in the dub. And of course, of course, Hiei also has an uh, amazing dub voice as well. Um, so there is that too, to be fair. Um, I mean, I like all the voices pretty much. Um, but yeah, the series is just so fucking good. And, and really, it just, it, it, it ages really well. It really does.
I, I have no real complaints about it, other than I will admit um, the final arc is a little, not bad, but it's, it's not as good as the earlier arcs, and it does show. I feel like they tried to go a little too far into things, um, and, and tried to just, tried a little too hard. Um, but, the series as a whole is fantastic. And if you haven't seen it, I, I, I definitely suggest it. Again, it is very much, very much one of those shows that holds up to this day. It does not feel like it aged poorly at all. It, it is, it aged so freaking well. It is such a great show. Go see it if you haven't. And if you have seen it, go watch it again. Because <laughs> um, God knows I've watched it quite a few times. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that is my uh, just general thoughts as these uh, Nostalgia Week videos tend to go on Yu Yu Hakusho. Tell me your thoughts on the series uh, down in the comments below. What is your favorite arcs, your favorite characters, all of that jazz. Um, but in the meantime, we only have one more Nostalgia Week video to go for this, uh, this Nostalgia Week. Um, there's only one more to go. And I've been racking my brain over, over exactly what to do. Because it's like, how do you end off a week of nostalgic memories of some really great classic anime? There's so many options. There's so many choices. It's... It's tough. But... I, I, I know... I know exactly... What would be the best move. And while this clue is like obnoxiously obvious. I'm I'm really trying to hold back laughter just because of how obvious it is compared to some of the other clues which may have been a little a little more subtle at least. Um this one it's just like there's no hiding it because I, I can't think of anything a little more subtle, you know? Um anything would just like tell you exactly what it's going to be. So, yeah. Moon power makeup.